G'day and welcome back to part four of the Supercut Teardown. In today's video, we remove the front and rear rollers, disassemble the rear roller, completely disassemble the mower. Now, before we get into it, we've got a new sticker for the sticker swap. Today, we've got Lawn Amateur. If you haven't already, feel free to go and check him out on Instagram. There's definitely nothing amateur about this man's lawn. Now the main part of this video will be close to three weeks old by the time you're seeing this. This is the last of the three videos that I filmed and lost a heap of audio, intros and outros. As annoying as it was, it's been a massive learning curve, so thanks for your patience and let's get into it. A little bit lighter now. Still pretty bloody heavy though. Probably the flame there, eh? So we're gonna crack these bolts off here. Nuts and bolts. Three on each side, M undone, and drop the rear roller out. Wheel chocks. There's two. So we've got left and a right too. When I forget where it goes, I'll watch this video. I'll show you this here. So it doesn't roll away when I lift it off. Lovely. Still pretty bloody heavy, I'll tell you that right now. All right, this is the bit that I honestly have not been looking forward to. Looks like we've got the old lock nut in here again. You can see that amongst all the grease. We're gonna crack that little one off and then wind that one out. Clean all this gunk off. Hopefully we can knock them off. Let's have a go. 916. Yes. 716, little square bolt on top. Come on, how to lovely, gotcha. Right, I'm gonna scrape it earlier. Oh, look at that. Another big nut on that side. Oh. It's too bloody good. It looked like a seal or something, it's just grass and grease. I do miss getting out the uh, air hose and firing up the noisy air compressor just to uh, use the rattle gun for two seconds. Big spot. I love the old battery tools. Right, we'll crack these little buggers off again. We've got that lock nut in there. 916. First. Followed by 716. All right. Seems to be coming along. Watch me get your fingers in here. Little pause. Things work. 
Can not speak too soon? We're not done yet. to loop up the shaft. Right, you obviously undo them and uh, drop your oil in there. <laughs> Unreal. I'm not liking this bouncing around. I think I might clean that shaft up right now. With some emery paper. Slide that top one off. Again, I have absolutely no need to take that off. I can't see why I would bother. So, that wasn't as big of a job as I originally anticipated. So, am I missing one of these? I believe I am. It's one of them missing. I don't know what I'm doing Ah, here it is. One, two, three, four. Two on each side. Beauty. While I'm here still playing with greasy crap, there appears to be a circlip in here. I can't see anything, so that much grease and snot everywhere. Ah, here we go. Spot just there where you can get your screwdriver in. You can flick that out and lose it over the other side of the shed. Placing them with the uh, bearings, and we won't see an ounce of grease in there ever again. Ugh. All right, it's over here somewhere. Oh, look at that! Didn't even have to move too much. These in here. You can go in there. bearing off the end of the counter shaft. That's also got a bearing in it. We punch it out. This way by the looks. No retaining clip in this one, I don't think. Give it a couple of taps to see how we get on. She's moving. Oh. 
and so I can trip over that and spill it everywhere later on. No secrets, I rush and I mess stuff up. Get the old chassis back up. All right, here we go. No, it's getting a bit wider now. So if you look here, some little holes on the back side. You can tap them and knock that out. Try that there. Zero two five five seven. All right, front roller coming off. Oop. No height adjuster on here when I got it, so I just a bit of I don't know what it is. Twelve mil rod. Drilled the ends of it. Tapped them. And uh, yeah, worked an absolute treat. I'm wondering if uh, without a whole lot of work, we could adapt a, uh, either a sheen one up at a bit of billet alloy or perhaps use one of the 20 inch rollers that comes for the 45 and actually have some sealed bearings in there rather than, I reckon they're a bit ugly and I just don't like greasing things. The less the better. I'm thinking somewhere along the line. We'll see how we get on. This is just about done. I'll, uh, might as well crack these off while I'm here. In there for the time being. Just runs on the back rollers, knocks all the mud and whatnot off. I reckon this must have had something to do with the old chain guard. That's my guess. You know, let me know. It might be 7, 16, yep. I don't know, what else would it be? I'm assuming that's the bracket from the old chain guard, but could be wrong. I don't actually know, I'm just guessing. We got four bolts left. Nine oh, sixteen. Side plates, front roller, rear roller, some more bits of the rear roller, counter shaft. That's today's job done. Well, that's it, all done. She's uh, completely torn down. I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, definitely spray all your nuts and bolts, even a week or two beforehand, even a couple of times, it's not gonna hurt. I think it definitely helped us out here today. It's, um, yeah, I had no drums with any nuts and bolts really, which is good and doesn't always happen. What have we got to do? Just, I'll give everything a good degreasing and a clean, get it in the blast cabinet. Actually, I'll, I'll probably paint strip these just to save a heap of work and uh, get them in the blast cabinet. Hopefully they won't take a whole lot of work then. And yeah, just start cleaning everything up. Get some nuts and bolts sorted out, some new bearings, some new sprockets, get them sussed out, and yeah, get it ready for some colour, I guess. Edge Prime, colour, Bob's your uncle. 
So if you found the video useful or you enjoyed it, please feel free to like and subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, legends. Catch you later. mess again. A bit of sugar to clear all the gears. And the chain, chain side.